Welcome to MDB Electrosoft. In this video, I'm going to talk about Arduino, what they are, what they can do and the basics of how to set one out to do simple things like make an LED blinking and dimming circuit. So what is an Arduino? I'm sure you have heard about this many times by now. Arduino is a company in Italy that design and sell circuit boards that make microcontroller easy to use. They call these circuit boards Arduino and there are many different versions of Arduino board. Some of them are Arduino Nano, Arduino Uno and Arduino Mega. Arduino Mega is like Uno's big version. It has lots of digital input output pins. The large number of pins make this board very handy for projects that requires a bunch of digital input or output. Arduino Nano is a small, complete and breadboard friendly board based on Atmega328 offers the same connectivity and specifications of the UNO board in a smaller form factor. The thing that make it very special is it is an open source device which means anybody can manufacture Arduino hardware and it can modify Arduino hardware taking schematic and design his own board based on what they think. You have got simple Arduino board like Arduino Uno which is cheap and good enough for most projects. You can use Arduino Uno to control motors, lighting, cameras or even can build a simple robot. There are also these things called Arduino shields which are basically circuit boards that are plugged into your main Arduino circuit board and let you do more stuff. So that was a quick overview of Arduino, the company and Arduino hardware. But there is more. There is also the Arduino software development environment and this is what it makes good for beginners. Historically, if you want to program microcontrollers, you would have to type out lot of binary and memorize a lot to remember registers and instructions. Then you would have to use special programming hardware with custom made cables to upload your program onto your microcontroller. Arduino, the company, got rid of all of that. They created software that works on Windows, Mac, and Linux which makes uploading your code is as simple as connecting your USB cable and clicking a button. They created a programming language that lets you configure all of the Arduino hardware product in the same way. The Arduino software is one of the easiest programming experiences till ever have. So hopefully this clarify what Arduino means in different contexts. This is Arduino Uno which is perfect for this beginner's tutorial. The first thing I want to do is getting you familiar with the hardware. You will often hear Arduino being called as microcontroller and that is technically incorrect. Arduinos are circuit board that have microcontroller chips on them but they also have a lot of other stuffs on there too. Let's take a quick look. This is the microcontroller. Arduino Uno uses a series of microcontrollers called Atmega AVRs. One great thing about Arduinos is you can power them purely from your USB cable but if you don't want your project all is attached to your computer, you can use just an external 9 volt DC power source with a barrel jack over here. If you ever want to rebuild your Arduino's program, you got a reset button here. Now let's talk about the pin connectors. Over here, you have the power pins. If you want, you can connect wires from here to other circuitry with 5V or 3.3V. Just make sure whatever you power does not draw more than a few milliamperes. Few LEDs are okay but a large motor would be a no. TX and RX are for sending and receiving serial data. You can use this 
to send and receive data from a GPS module, Bluetooth module, Wi-Fi module and more. Pins 2 to 13 are for digital input and outputs. Normally when people think of binary, you just think of zeros and ones. But with most microcontroller pins, you can actually activate a third state and use them as digital inputs. So you can use these pins as an output where it gives you 5 volt for digital 1 or 0 volt for digital 0. You can internally configure the Arduino to expect a voltage on a pin and that voltage can be interpreted as 1 or 0. Some of the pins have tilted in front of them and this means you can use them to output pulse with modulated square waves. Here we have 6 analog output pins and these are used to measure continuous voltages anywhere from 0 volt to 5 volt. Now enough about the hardware. Most of the work you do with your Arduino will actually be in the software. So start out by downloading the Arduino software from arduino.cc. This is the latest version which we are gonna install. So click on Windows Installer and Download. You can see it has started downloading. Now and run this file. You can expect lot of prompts like this to show up where you are asked if you wanna install various drivers. Just say yes to everything. Once you are done, connect your Arduino to your computer with USB cable. Next, start up the Arduino development environment. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that the software tries to connect to the right type of Arduino. So go to Tools, Boards. We are gonna be using Arduino Uno. Next, we have to make sure that the Arduino environment can actually connect and communicate with your Arduino. So for that, go to Tools, Ports and select the COM or serial port where your Arduino is connected. Here COM5 is selected. If there isn't an Arduino listed here, you may have a problem with your drivers or you can try plugging your Arduino into a different USB port. The Arduino software has turned a fantastic easy to follow demo programs and studying these is the best place to start learning out of code. Arduino call them sketches which is just a fancy name for a program that you upload to your Arduino. Every Arduino program will have two main areas, the setup and the loop. The setup area where you set the Arduino. The things that you want to do one time, like setting up your pins, you will do it in your void setup. It could be the information on which pins are input and which pins are output. And the things that you want to do over and over, you do it in void loop. Now let's start an example where we go to file, examples, basics and LED blink. All the Arduino examples contains instructions on how to set up the hardware. First of all, we will blink this inbuilt LED connected to pin 13. So initialize the LED as an output here. Provide the logic high to turn on the LED. You can also write 1 instead of high. Now keep the delay of 1 second and turn off the LED with logic low. We can also write 0 instead of low and again give the delay of 1 second. Click upload. It will compile the code and upload it to your Arduino. You can see this inbuilt LED is blinking with the delay of 1 second. Change the delay and decrease it. Again upload the program and see the difference. We have decreased the delay because of which 
This LED is blinking at a faster rate. Now let's blink two LEDs alternately. For that, connect cathodes of LED to ground and anodes of both LEDs to any two digital pins. We have connected anodes of LEDs to pin 7 and pin 11. Initialize the pins of LEDs as an output. Provide the logic high to one of the LED and logic 0 to another LED. This will turn on the LED connected to pin 11 and turn off the LED connected to pin 7. After the delay of 1 second, these instructions now turn off the LED connected to pin 11 and turn on the LED connected to pin 7. Upload the program. Both the LEDs are blinking alternately. Decrease the delay and observe the difference. Now let's try an another experiment where we make the simple LED fading circuit. So go to File, Examples, Basics, Fade. Here the pulse width modulation facility of Arduino is used in which the width of the square wave varies which then vary the power across the load, whether it is LED, motor or any other load. For this LED fading experiment, we need to connect anode of the LED to any of PWM pins of the Arduino board. So initialize the LED and connect it to pin number 9. Set its brightness level. Also set the fade amount to fade the LED. Initialize the pin connected to LED as an output pin. Set the initial brightness level of the LED. This instruction will change its brightness. These instructions will reverse the direction of the fading. Provide a small delay to see the LED glowing and fading properly. Upload the program. This is how the brightness of the LED can be increased or decreased. Anode of LED is connected to pin number 9 as discussed previously and the cathode is connected to ground. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe our YouTube channel MDB Electrosoft and visit on our website www.mdbelectrosoft.in.